Welcome Virgos. This is the full moon of April. It's a pink full moon. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Virgos, please go check out the uh, season reading for the, the Taurus season reading because Taurus is... Uh, um, season is the second house. The second house is about your money, your financial stability. It is very important um, that you work with the season readings and the full moon readings that is going to be helping you to understand what is going to come out in the Taurus season. I do love you guys. Thank you for returning. Let's go in this full moon readings. Uh, Virgos. All right. So I see Virgos. Some of you was hoping for some sort of a success to come in. Um, but, uh, um, it might not come in in this full moon, whatever that is happening and transpiring. And uh, I see a judgment call is going to be coming out. So I see judgment is coming out. Um, and a judgment could be coming up on some of you Virgos, but it could be coming up on a cancers that some of you have maybe as a cancer sister or brother. So that could be happening. I see a whole lot of worries in the second week. Um, the nine of swords, a whole lot of worries. You Virgos are going on in the second week. And I see the heartbreaks is over, but a whole lot of worries is here. Wow. So... A lot of you had hoped to overcome some sort of a situation, but some judgment call came out. And I see in the opposite situation is that whoever um, that was dealing um, with a Gemini or a Libran and, and a Cancer, they're going to be recognizing what a, a Gemini, a Libran and a Cancer have done. And they're going to be recognizing the truth. I see a whole lot of worries around you, Virgos. Um, in the third week, I see a lot of you Virgos are hoping for some sort of a new offer to come in. And we have the energy of the sun in the reverse. Now, it's as if you Virgos have been dealing with some sort of a issues and some sort of a situation in your life uh, where a judgment call had taken place. The heartbreak is now over, but Everything is not yet back to normal. You got to give it time, Virgos. Whatever came out, this is a full moon where the secrecy is coming out at the full moon. And whatever that was happening, you got to give it time um, before you get that new start that you wanted. Then let's look at the nine. So an ending is going to be coming in. You have nine of swords, whereas you have nine of wands. You are open. But it's in the reverse because your worries is so much that you are not seeing what is happening around you. And what you need to do is to reverse this worries and look to the future and not to the past. Okay. Then we recognize a, uh, um, you young Virgos, you young Virgos. We're hoping for some sort of a new start. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, your young Virgos got caught up in some sort of issues and was hoping for some sort of a new start. But, um, you know, your young Virgos, um, you got to recognize uh, um, what is transpiring. Um, some sort of a judgment call. Something had happened um, and now the truth is coming out. If you notice, all of your cards is in reverse, except this offer that some of your young Virgos were hoping for. But because of some sort of information that comes out, this is uh, um, the process is going to be delayed. OK, the process is going to be delayed for you, for young Virgos, because of something that came out. And if you recognize a lot of you. Um, overcome a situation. It's not success. You overcome an, 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 a loss and some sort of a new opening you want. And you young girls are really open for this. A judgment call is going to be coming up. Okay. And it, it, some sort of a details and information is going to set light, some sort of a communication. Because this judgment call is communication, information, light is being spread on some sort of a data and documentation and they're now recognizing um, what was happening and what was transpiring. So it depends on who you are, what is in your birth sign. There is no, ma the major issue is the energy of the sun where the energy of the sun is that there has been uh, information that has been blocked or or, or um, basically someone was trying to um 
to cover up some sort of a details and information and now people are recognizing so this is a situation let's see what you're coming in this full moon with um, a lot of your judgment call is coming down on a young Pisces cancer or a scorpion person there is no success for, for this person whoever this person is a judgment call is coming down on this Aquarian Gemini or Libran they are now recognizing who this person is they are now seeing what this person have done so this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person I see this person have no success because they now recognize um, what this person have done maybe it's your child maybe it's a, a partner whoever this person is so all right so we see people in authority is coming up this is could be a father uh, some of you this is really authoritarian figures that is coming up because they are coming up strong and they're not recognizing what an Aquarian Gemini or Libran have done and they're seeing the truth and they're coming up and they're coming up very very strong so Virgos um, whoever is an Aquarian Gemini or Libran they recognize what this Aquarian Gemini or Libran have done I don't know if this was a friend someone you were working with or someone you were dealing with um, people in order to recognize what this person have done it is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra they're not going to be having any success um, because what we recognize is that this person you're dealing with this person whoever this person is a family member someone at, at um, a co-worker whoever this person is they recognize what this person have done and this person could have been working for some of you and they're now recognizing a whole lot of things and people in authority is really checking um, something on this person so a lot of you young men young businessmen could have been waiting for some sort of a new offer because you have a loss was was created because of something that a Aquarian Gemini or Libra person have done there is no success and there is a loss um and you um Virgo businessmen are trying to get some sort of a new start but I see there is still data and information that came out people in authority is looking at some sort of a data information so some of you young um men or women um not older than 50 could be having some sort of a problem with your boss or your father and this is going to be coming up for a whole lot of you that you could um could be having some sort of a problem with your boss or your father in this timeline uh, some of you could be having some sort of a situation with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person could have gotten you in this situation there is no success that is going to be coming up for this person and um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing who this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person is because they have created a whole lot of issues for you all right let's go in this yes so there is some sort of an investigation that is going on and a lot of people said yeah you're always talking about investigation yes because a lot of people are not aware of that sometimes you're not aware that is happening but sometimes because of the people who you have in your existence they could be on the investigation that you are their friends okay and that is one of the reasons that you have to recognize and and know who are your friends before you start to accumulate accumulate people know their backgrounds before you open up your life to people so they're now investigating this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and there is no success for this person a judgment call is going to be coming out on this person so no success for an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person there this person is on the investigation and I see a judgment call this is a young lady a young lady that is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra. In the second week, we see a loss and a whole lot of worries. Um, so it's a situation where you Virgos, um, some sort of a loss is going to be coming up and a whole lot of worries for some of you Virgos in the second week. All right. So you got to be aware of this, um, what is going to be happening and transpiring in the second week because a whole lot of loss is going to be coming up and worries for a lot of you and it's because some of you virgos were um pleasure seeking and pleasure seeking is about um you know inveigling in things that is not for you okay pleasure seeking is like having a fair having 
um, some sort of affair of the work floor. Pleasure seeking is uh, investigating and access. Pleasure seeking is going on someone's telephone and someone's computer where you should not have access to. And by that, uh, or connecting and trying to get data and information over someone who is not, and you're not an investigation. And that is what is pleasure seeking. Okay. You're not doing it. Uh, um, for the good of mankind. You're doing it for your own pleasure. And that's where you caught up in. In the third week, I see a lot of you are hoping for some sort of an offer and you might get this offer, especially some of you ladies. If you were open for some sort of a new offer, it's going to be a yes. So Virgo ladies, yes, yes, yes. Some sort of a sweet news is going to be coming in. If you guys are looking for a job, the third week is going to be the week where it is going to be a yes. The third week seems to, the third week of this full moon seems to be coming up as the best week for a lot of people. So the third week, some sort of offer is going to be coming in. People is not, people are now going to be recognizing and I see a whole lot of people are now going to be accessing and is going to be recognizing what was happening. The fourth week, I see some sort of a data came out about you young Virgos. Um, Virgos no older than 50. The rest of you older Virgos is good. Everything is corpusetic, okay? And they are now uh, recognizing that some of you uh, Virgos that is no older than 50, some sort of a data and information came out about you. This data, especially Virgos that is living in a country or a different location, um, let's say that you live in another city. Um, I see that they, they went and get some sort of a data over you, Virgos. Okay. So Virgos, women and men, um, not older than 50, they're going to be recognizing, especially if you're living in another country or another state or another city, they're going to be, um, getting some sort of a information about you, Virgos. Okay. However, that is coming up and transpiring. Um, some sort of information. They're going to be looking up some sort of information about you Virgos at another city or another state. So something that was happening and transpiring. They want to find out more details about who you Virgos are. So if you Virgos live in another country, another city, they're going to be um, going somewhere else in order to get some sort of a data about you Virgos. So be aware of that. I don't know what is transpiring, but this is about getting documentation over you Virgos. You got to be aware of this. Alrighty, let's go in and see what is coming up for the fire sign Virgos. Okay. Uh, via, via sign Virgo. So, all right. So they're finding out the truth of a Gemini, a young Gemini woman. Whoever this young Gemini woman is, so they are now investigating a young Gemini woman and they're finding out something about this young Gemini woman and this young Gemini woman, there is not going to be any success for this young Gemini woman. So we now associate and recognize who is this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person. They are now recognizing and finding out some sort of information about this um, young woman. A whole lot of investigation and a whole lot of details is coming out because the truth is light is now shedding on the truth, the eight of swords, which meaning whatever information that was kept is now coming out about an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person. Then we see no success. And I see a lot of you, um, Virgos was open for some sort of a success. Um, cause you and this person, this could be, um, your partner, this could be a sister, this could be a family member, but whoever this Aquarian, Gemini or Libra is, whatever information is coming out, I see you, um, Virgos was hoping for some sort of a successful, um, situation, but it's not going to be transparent because whatever the information came out about this young woman, um, you seems to be caught up and this is a young lady. This young lady is no older than 50 and you seems to be caught up with this person and was open for some sort of a success for you and this person, but it's not going to be happening. All right. Then we see at the workplace, 
this is the energy of the eight of pentacles that was what i was saying a whole lot of worries at the workplace for you virgos whatever that was happening and transpiring some of you virgos at the workplace could have been pleasure seeking whether you are a salesperson or um there could have been some sort of a um affair, um, affair on the work floor or affair in your life um you were pledged seeking with someone else and this is coming up as work something would work and you pledge seeking and i see a whole lot of worries because something had happened and transpiring or is going to be happening and transpiring and it's going to be at the workplace or something to do with your work so again i gave an example you could be um, good with computers and you went on someone computer and access some sort of a detail uh, or you get some sort of access uh, um, at work and use someone else's access to access some sort of information. It's all coming out. Then we have the energy of... Uh, um information coming out so a lot of you some sort of information that you are waiting on you virgos could come in um in the this is the sword knight of swords energy some sort of information that some of you were waiting on could come in and it's going to be a positive information and that is going to be in the third week so some of you could have been waiting for an offer that sort of a thing an offer for a new job position that sort of a thing is going to be happening um then we see whatever is happening and is uh, transpiring uh, i see a whole lot of you uh could be overcoming some sort of a situation oh see daisy some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring and what we are seeing is that they're going to be finding out a whole lot of details about a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person whoever this Pisces cancer or a scorpion person is uh, the Pisces cancer or a scorpion person travel to be in a location or in a country where you Virgos are whoever this person is you virgos could have been connected maybe it's a sister a brother or a friend but you virgos are connected to this um pisces cancer or scorpion person and a whole lot of data information came out about this pisces cancer or scorpion person they're recognizing who this person is so this person is from another country and it's as if people, you could be in the power of authority that you recognize that whoever this young Pisces cancer scorpion person is, you ask for detail about them in another country. And the details is going to be coming out and you're going to be getting it in the fourth week. So it is a young Pisces cancer scorpion person from another country. Some sort of a detail. I don't know if... um uh is someone who you apply for a job for you or someone who's working for you or someone who you're in some sort of a connection with but they they you know you could be in a position where you're asking um for some sort of a detail and if you recognize uh, this situation is that uh, there's a whole lot of emotional situation that is happening to a lot of you Virgos. There's no question because you were open to be successful over a situation. It didn't happen. And a whole lot of em emotional situation around works, a lot of worries at the workplace, a lot of worry about work. People who are worried about work in the uh, third week, you're going to be receiving some sort of a information, some sort of a inf uh, invitation is going to be coming out um to you guys and this is going to be good so if you were worried about work multiple opportunities of business is going to be coming in but i see some of you who have a, a connection with a young pisces cancer or scorpion they're going to be asking for a whole lot of information so it could be someone who you're dealing with in a relationship someone you have met or some sort of a communication and this um, pisces cancer or scorpion person they're investigating and they're um, you Virgos could be asking um, another country or another state for a whole lot of details over this person. And this person is a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person. And you're going to be asking for details and documentation over this person. Okay, so for the rest of you guys, you're okay. I see whoever is looking for and is worried about work. Work is going to be coming in. 
a second week and third week work is going to be coming in that is going to be good a lot of you you could be applying you could be worried in the second week and the third week and you apply for a job in the third week you're going to be getting some sort of an answer some of you i don't know who the spices cancer or scorpion person is but i see people in authority maybe you're a manager or some sort of a background check and they're asking up for it calling up for details about a pisces cancer or scorpion person Alrighty, wow, sun sign people. Let's move to the moon sign people. All right, so if you were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., let's see what is transpiring. So, yes, some sort of a background check. There, you Virgos are asking for some sort of a background check, and it has to do with a a young person, okay, some sort of background check, an international corporation. Um, if you Virgos, and this is this is for you moon sign people, you moon sign people. Um, if you live in another country, I see some sort of a government in, uh, institution. They're um they're asking for some sort of a background check on you. Um, Virgos, if you're running an international company, there is some sort of a communication with you and people in other countries. But I see that the, 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 the situation is that, especially you business Virgo men, they're going to be investigating you. Um, whatever country you are from or countries or, um, uh, there is, um, some sort of a, a, a connection with people from other country is going to be coming up and a lot of you virgo men uh a lot of you virgo men that live in another country and is doing business they're going to be having an investigation over you uh i'm sorry uh young uh virgo businessmen some sort of a tower moment is going to be coming down on you so i don't know virgo men especially virgo men it is going to be affecting Virgo businessmen, young entrepreneur, young entrepreneur, uh, Virgo businessmen. A tower moment is coming down on you. Um, and it could be someone at the workplace also. OK, but if you notice, this is like meetings and this is internationally the Wheel of Fortune. And these are people in I authority that is investigating some of you. Uh, Virgo men and women no older than 50. All the people you have no problems, but, um, people younger than 50, you have some sort of a problem, background check, some sort of a situation that has transpired. This is international because you live in another country and they are now investigating. And I see a huge shower moment and it's going to be affecting people, uh, women and men, entrepreneurs, women and men. Um, younger than 50, uh, that's the people. And I see a huge tower moment is going to be coming down on this person because they're going back looking at data and information and recognizing, um, what has transpired. And I see, uh, a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person could be getting fire and a huge tower moment coming down on this person. Okay. And this person is younger than 50 years old. Let's look at your second week, moon sign, people. It's a beautiful, beautiful week. Yes, yes, yes. Money is going to be returning, but not on the money, but financial stability is going to be here for a lot of you Virgos. Um, good news is going to be coming in about money, but also good news is going to be coming in about help. So all of a sudden, some of you Virgos, someone could be saying, hey, are you looking for a job or um, we have a position open up at our company or help is going to be coming in from family and friends. So this is going to be absolutely fabulous um, for a lot of you. The second week is going to be one of your best week. Then we look at the third week, some sort of a loss of a whole lot of money. And it's because of pleasure seeking. So you Virgos could have been pleasure seeking and lose a lot of money. Whatever the situation is, I know this looks like gambling. Pleasure seeking is also gambling, you know, and I could lose a lot of money. So please do not go gambling or do not go buying some sort of an expensive thing. Um, pleasure seeking is like buying an expensive car and then have an accident. That is pleasure seeking because you're not, you're reckless. Okay. That is pleasure seeking. So I see by pleasure seeking, 
a lot of you Virgos could lose a lot of money. But I see with women, you're going to be okay. So older Virgo women, you're going to be okay. Um, some sort of a loss that some of you older Virgo women have, um, it is going to be resolved. And some of you older Virgo women have also, um, a child, um, uh, or some sort of a lover that is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. I see some sort of a news is going to be coming out about this person. So this is good. But Virgo women, it is going to be a good week for you guys, especially Virgo women, older Virgo women. It could come up for a very, very positive um uh, week. All right. Let us look at your fourth week, Virgo uh, moon sign people. Virgo moon sign people, some sort of a judgment call is coming down on an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, and you are protecting yourself from this person. You Virgos are like, you know, figure it out yourself. Don't get me involved. Whatever is transpiring, Virgo, so in the fourth week, I don't know if it's um, someone who works for you or is it your child or is it your partner? Is it a sister or brother? Is it a friend? Whoever this person is, they are on, on the, they're investigating this person and they're investigating this person. I don't know what this person has done and how this person is connected, but it's an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person. And you Virgos are like, and some sort of a judgment call because they are on the investigation. Whatever reason, is it a colleague or is it a sister or brother? Is it someone who you share a house with? Who is this Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person is? You know that they are on their some sort of an investigation and you're like, hey, keep me out of this. And there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. You're like, I don't know. Keep me out of this. I don't want to be dealing with this. So they're investigating some sort of a data and information that a Aquarian Gemini Libra or an Aquarian Gemini Aquarian Gemini or Libra person has. And I see they recognize that this data or information that this person gives is not what they say there is and what is happening. And they're coming back and said, Hey Virgos, can you help me? And you Virgos are like, Nope, uh, don't want to get involved. Mm -mm. Don't get involved, Virgos. Stay away from the situation. It's not yours. Uh -uh. And it's a young person. This person is really younger than um, you, Virgos. This person is really younger than you, Virgos. So you got to be aware of what was happening and what was transpiring and who this person is. It can be someone who you were supervising on the work floor. But whoever this person is, uh, they're on some under some sort of a serious, serious issue. And you need to protect yourself from this person. It doesn't matter who this person is. If it's your child, you got to protect this person if it's your child. But if it's a sister or brother, it's not your problem, basically, Virgos, okay? So moon sign people... There is some sort of a international, and if you work in an international corporation institution, a tower moment is going to be coming down. And you Virgos could be the one that is bringing down this tower moment. Or you Virgos are the manager who recognize something. And it's not showing up who these people, but it's, it, it, could, it could have been some sort of an international corporation because it is over someone who is from another country whoever this person is that is from another country they're recognizing something so you virgos could be looking at this person or it could be that it is being looked at you maybe you're applying for a job some sort of a situation background check that sort of a thing but there is a taurus virgo or a capricorn person that a tower moment is going to be coming down on and this tower moment is going to be affecting a Taurus. It could be a Taurus. That a tower moment is going to be affecting a Taurus because they're going to be recognizing what a Taurus has done. Whoever this Taurus is, is living in another, is from another country or from another city that has done something. And I see this is like international, a group of people, international company, international corporation, international uh, governments and so is investigating the stories for a Capricorn person and they're younger than you are and they are going to be in some sort of a serious problem because a tower moment is coming down on them 
then we're looking and recognizing the second week is a positive week. Um, some sort of a help is going to be coming in. Uh, very positive news is going to be coming in. And the third week, I see whatever loss that you older women have acquired or some sort of a loss that some of you older women have acquired is going to be resolved. Some of you older women uh, who is a manager in a corporation, there you could have asked uh, that an investigation uh, be, take place over an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. So I see that some of you older women, older Virgo women, is going to be investigating a situation and they're going to be recognizing who is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person. And I see you older women uh, could have asked for the investigation and you older women are going to be protecting yourself from this person because you older women recognize uh, what this young person have done. Okay, so um, I see you could have been the supervisor to this person. So you older women are good. But I see um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn could be getting a clap. Whoever this Taurus, uh, uh, this, um, Taurus person is, it's coming up as a Taurus person for some of you. This Taurus person is from another country, another city. Their country people are going to be recognizing that they have created uh, some sort of uh, access or some, they've created something and a, a huge tower moment is coming down for a Taurus um, person. It's not showing up whether it's a man or a woman, but this person is younger than 50 years old, okay? And then we see some sort of a help is going to be coming in for you ladies and older older Virgo people, some sort of a help, Virgo people 50 years and older, some sort of a help is going to be coming in for you guys. And I see some of you Virgo women are going to be protected or um, you Virgos are going to be protecting an older person because you recognize so uh, that a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra have caused this older person some old, a lot of issues and problems. And now you're going to be protecting yourself from this young young Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, okay? All right, Virgos, I do love you guys. Um, just stay focused. Um, this is what full moon is all about, and you Virgos work with Mercury. Listen to your own intuition. You will get through this full moon. I do love you guys, but I got to go. And remember to show your love by thumbs up and share. Share this video. Virgos, I'm advising you to go check out your Taurus season. Tauruses are your soul family. They support you. Tauruses are your brothers. Okay, once the Capricorns are your sister, the Tauruses are your brothers. Taurus season is about your second house. And the second house is the house of your materialistic stability. Go check out your Taurus season reading. Look in um, at the video that is coming behind this one. And go check it out on the channel. I do love you guys. Uh, there is a extended of this full moon reading. If you are a member, you already know. It's on the, the second subscription. So if you want to see what is coming up in your 12 hours, it is on the, the second subscription. You can find the extended of this reading. I do love you. Gotta say namaste until next time.